Hi everyone. I'm going to be making you a special dish today, which I haven't had in many years because I'm the only one that eats it. Whenever I was growing up and my mother made stuffed peppers, uh, it wasn't stuffed with meat. We stuffed it with these ingredients right here. My mother made them very quick, very simple. I like simple recipes. But, you know, sometimes you gotta go into something a little bit more. But anyway, these are the ingredients in this here. I cut, washed the peppers, dried them, cut the tops off, and, and uh, chopped them up here. And I got four cloves of garlic, which I'm gonna mince very uh, well, very tiny. There's some olive oil, some capers, black olives, anchovies, key ingredient and some breadcrumbs, which I'm spilling all over the place. Unflavored breadcrumbs. Unflavored. I don't like flavored. The flavored breadcrumbs, as far as I'm concerned, have a, a smell about them. I don't know what it is, but anyway, this is the recipe that my mother and my aunts used to make. I never, I never we never had meat stuffed peppers. It was always this way. I don't know if it's Sicilian, if it's Namalindan, or where it comes from but there's not very many people that I know that make this recipe. But since I've had the blog, I've uh, gotten reacquainted with some kids, 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 people that I grew up with as kids. And one of my friends, Marie, she, her name was Marie Jardulo, but she's now married and has a different name. But anyway, she's the only one that I know who makes the, the stuffed peppers like this. I mean, I don't know if you've heard of it, if you haven't heard of it, but anyway, this is the only way I knew growing up. My daughter makes another version, but she created her own recipe. We like to create our own recipes. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is stuff, put a little bit of each. You could stay with me because I don't need you to go anywhere. And what are we going to do is we're going to put this in the oven after I stuff each one. So I try to get the garlic as small as I can. I don't want big chunks of garlic, although I don't mind them. I like garlic toasted in olive oil. It's basically just mincing it very, very small and putting a little bit in each pepper which I'm gonna do right now. It's pretty small right now. Just a couple of pieces here. Anyway, so these are, I use red peppers, never use green, always red. So what I'm gonna do is put a little, actually you should put the pepper on the bottom. Why is that? I, it absorb, it'll absorb the other stuff and the breadcrumbs, which will be absorbed too. Try to even it out, one, one cap for each one. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little garlic in each one, a little garlic, a lot of garlic, 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 garlic. I don't think I could cook without garlic. Who wants to? <laughs> and also onions. Onions are very, very essential in my cooking. Garlic, onions, parsley, basil. You use garlic a lot more than onions. Oh, I know I do, yes, I know. I use garlic a hell of a lot more. Okay, so I got all my garlic in here, I think, here. Then I'm gonna take some black olives. Sliced already. What? Sliced already. You could slice them, buy them, slice them yourself, whatever you want. I like them. I'd like to buy them already sliced. I also use this, this here, black olives, capers, olive oil, and anchovies. And I make a uh, kind of like an alia ul, ul, uh, you know, garlic and oil pasta. But I add hot pepper, capers, olive, um, anchovies, and, uh, that's a little bit. Let's even it out here. Even the distribution. Okay. And now I'm going to put some capers in each one. I love capers. A lot of people 
don't like the taste. My daughter-in-law doesn't like capers, but I love the taste of capers. She doesn't like anchovies either. What? <laughs> she doesn't like anchovies either. I know a lot of the most people don't. Anchovies are are an acquired taste. I think that's enough capers. Now I'm going to try and take out some of these anchovies. I'll try to put like, oh, break it up evenly, whatever's in here. Ah, uh, one. And let me tell you, when you cook them, when you uh, cook the anchovies, they kind of disintegrate into the food. So you don't get a whole big anchovy in your mouth. It breaks up. This is two in here, so we'll have to put two in each, which I think is what it's going to amount to. Well, some, some of them are smaller than others, but there's two in there, two in there, two, two in there, two in there, so we're going to have to do three in each. And I like to use the anchovy oil a little, too. Actually, if you use the anchovy oil, you don't need the olive oil too much. This has enough oil. And by no means, add salt. Because the anchovies are pretty salty. Just put a little bit of breadcrumbs. You don't have to put a lot. This is going to melt down. And you're going to cook this in a 350-degree oven for about 25 minutes to a half hour. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil now. And it goes in the pan, too. That should be more than enough. Now, like I said, I'm going to put this in the oven, a 350-degree oven, for about 20, 30 minutes, I would say. And I'll come back when they're done. I'll show you exactly. And they're delicious. I can't believe I'm having one after all this time. It came to me the other day in a brainwave. Stuffed peppers. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll be back. So they've been in for like 50 minutes, but that's because I think I had the temperature on the oven too low. I raised it up to 400. They should look like this with a little bit of crisp on the top so if you cook it at 400 for like 30 35 40 minutes you should get it like this now i'm not going to eat one right now because i finished all my all and beans <laughs> <laughs> i made two videos today so this is the finished product it's delicious if you like anchovies and capers and all that. I missed it. I can't wait to have it. I'm probably going to have them tomorrow because it's Friday and I don't eat meat on Friday. Uh, but this is it. I don't know if it's Sicilian, if it's Navali Don or where it came from. But I know all I know is that my mother made it all the time. And uh, this is the way she made stuffed peppers. So I hope you enjoy my recipe. Bon appetit.